What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, got another cool one for you uh, from our G.I. Joe section here at our museum. Just hanging out, guys. We wanted to share this phenomenal G.I. Joe with you today. All the way from 1998. We would like to introduce to you, for your viewing pleasure, the G.I. Joe Classic Collection 442nd Infantry Nisai Soldier. This is from the World War II Forces Collection. I'm going to step back. If you notice this box has some slight, slight fading to it. During a move... I was relocating my collection years and years ago, probably around 1999. And um, this, believe it or not, because my collection is so massive, a portion of my Joes were misplaced uh, by my own bad judgment. <laughs> I misplaced a few of them, a few of these guys, and they were um, this particular box for some reason became faded had fading to it um, I have a duplicate of this particular figure set right here of the 40 the uh, 442nd infantry Nisai soldier um, and it's C10 but this is my favorite because I bought this one back in 1998 from Toys R Us and it was my first so I kind of had a connection to it so I could, that's, that's the reason I didn't want to say, so you know what, I could show you guys the, the C-10 box, but this is not bad. And I want you to, to see the box that means the most to me. They both mean mo the most to me. They I, I love both of them. But this one right here is just, I just have a special connection to it. I guess because I I uh, accidentally put it in harm's way. <laughs> so it stays now in, in our main museum uh, collection room here at our museum guys if you're just joining us welcome to the MIB master toy museum uh, please like and subscribe guys this is what we do um, I got some time off I'm relaxing I haven't even had a, a cup of coffee yet so we'll get to all of that later but we want to share some Joes with you today and Today, we have the 442nd Nisai Infantry Soldier. Um, this unit was put together um, shortly after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. And all of the um, Japanese heritage uh you know any anyone with japanese descent or heritage or background or cultural background really went through a lot during that 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 point in time in our country's uh history after pearl harbor especially on the i i uh especially in hawaii so, um, the army wanted 1,500 uh, Japanese descent um, men to to volunteer for a new unit that was being put together, the uh, 442nd Infantry, the Nisai unit. They were blown away by the amount of volunteers. They had over 10,000. And it's a beautiful article here on the side. Get you a blown out look at this box. It's just absolutely gorgeous. They were blown away by the volunteers that wanted to volunteer. You can see here 10,000 volunteers. Not just in Hawaii, but on the mainland too. So, um, these men 
fought for their country and they fought diligently and with honor for their country and they did very well fantastic and to be immortalized as a GI Joe um, you knew this unit of men were very special and was honored as such and this figure was a, a very much anticipated figure um, the head sculpt was very unique there's this head sculpt would only be used maybe I think once once more and it was on the Hawaiian territorial uh, guard and you can check our video out out on that one as well. It's another beautiful, beautiful figure, uh, much like this one. Uh, this one comes layered up. Tons and tons of accessories. You see, he's in he's in fantastic condition. He's factory sealed, just like the day I bought him from Toys R Us. He's got an overcoat, scarf. He's got a shirt underneath that, and they they gave him the iconic. Battle scar. He's got his helmet with the net over it. Awesome. Radio. Backpack. There's the, the phone there. What else? What else can we find for this guy? <laughs> Duffel bag here. You name it. He's got his, uh, I want to say this is a Browning rifle. I'm going to tilt him back a little bit so you can look at him. Grenades. He's got his knife right there. Bayonet. Pouches. Just a beautiful beautiful figure and I, I just I love this head sculpt it's fantastic uh, just a, a beautiful figure it remains one of my favorites out of that 1998 um, collection all of the uh, Joes that came out and a ton of GI Joes were released during that 1998 um, year and this one remains one of my favorites um, even to today Like I said, I, and if I love a figure enough, I will always buy a duplicate. Uh, I probably would have bought a duplicate anyway if this box, my the front of this box wasn't faded. But that's that 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 helped to speed up the process because you know I didn't like the fact that I put this uh, figure and its box in harm's way because I'm such a um, a devoted and obsessive collector when it comes to keeping these beautiful figures um, in C10 museum quality. Guys, what do you think of where we'll turn this around? What do you think of our 442nd infantry Nisai soldier? Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? I'll get you a blown out look here. This is the back of the box. It shows you all of the other figures that you can have. If you don't have um, here we're looking at our uh, Mitchell Page. Check that video out. It, it was fantastic. Let's see. Kenner was still doing um, the production work on these figures. The manufacturing of, of these figures. There's our year. 1998. And here's a, an assortment, an array of different G.I. Joes that you could get our historical commanders edition there's our George Washington we did a, a fantastic video on our George Washington uh, check that video out it's fantastic guys add these 1998 G.I. Joe recruits to your collection we sure did uh, we added all of them and uh, just a phenomenal phenomenal figure here's a Get your wide shot here of our Nisai soldier in all of his glory. Got his equipment on. Um, a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful figure. 
and so much so like I said I had to have um two of these I would I would have gotten two of these regardless <laughs> Up. He comes with the Velcro here on the side, but just a beautiful figure, um, beautifully done. He's got the uh, classic collection hands. Um, this is right before they started to produce the. Uh, gung-ho grip hands and once they start the gung-ho grip hands all of the figures for the most part all the G.I. Joe figures came with the uh, gung-ho grip hands so you can kind of see the timeline historical timeline of um, the evolution of how these figures were made Just a beautiful, beautiful figure. I'll bring him back down here for you guys. Guys, we've got a lot of fun in store for you. More G.I. Joes on the way. More superheroes. More Migos on the way. You name it. We have it. I'd like to thank all of our new subscribers for subscribing to our channel. Guys, you won't be disappointed. A lot of fun here at our channel. And we'd like to thank all of our old subscribers that's been with us from the beginning and have been hanging out and visiting the channel and supporting it. We truly appreciate it. You know the routine, guys. God bless. and keep collecting.